Good morning from Chirebon. The sun hasn't even gotten up and really going yet and we're here for breakfast. Um, a breakfast you can find all over Indonesia but we're actually going to get the Chirebon little version here. Celebi, right? Surabi. Surabi or sh Surabi. Surabi or Surabi. Surabi. I'm gonna call it Surabi. I can remember that one. I can't remember the other one. Surabi. We got a lady cooking it up right now. So she's got her little clay pots right here. Almost kind of look like the pesto mortars, the way they're open. A little more concave. And there's her flower batter. She's gonna put that in here. And she's gonna have about four or five different types she can cook up. <laughs> she's got two little utensils she's working. She's got like two little prongs that slide through here. It can pull the lid off, constantly feeding the fire. And then here are all her varieties. She displaced them nice and beautifully. You can come in, just kind of pick up what you want. So is it just like a rice and coconut flour? Rice coconut flour. Okay, because you can see the chunks of meat, a coconut in here. And this is a really popular spot we're at right now. Um, I forgot which spot this is called. What is it called? Right, but which, what's this location? Gracia. 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 The building. Okay, Gracia. This is the Gracia building. Yeah. Oh. Maybe Gracia. Okay, that makes sense. Because we're right next to the building that says Gracia. Just over here, small little spot. She opens at 6 a.m. And she's going to be done around 8. I haven't even told her good morning. I kind of feel like a rude person. Selamat pagi. Pagi. Oh, udah bisa mesen kasih tahu ya. Udah bisa. Now I feel Kita better. Ya, it's like southern. So southernness, you know, like if I don't say good morning or hello, I just feel so rude. And you see here her, her three, three types of feelings back here. Yeah, that's uh, one is spicy tempe mm. over there, and then this is the onchom, the fermented on soybean. Chom, yeah. And that's the black beans that we use to make ketchup manis. Oh, okay. Black beans and uh, green chili. Gotcha. Green chili okay, so look right here. Spicy tempeh. Those are the fermented bean. That's gonna be the black bean. Like, or black bean or like a black soybean? Sorry? Like a black soybean? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Black soybean. Which, which one's your favorite? Egg with... Uh, Act with all three. Okay, so special. Okay. Special. Okay, special. Special. And then what is the other little fried thing she has? Tempe. And veggie fritters. Tahu. Hmm. Tempe, veggie fritters. Okay. And so. to be eaten with the plain sarabi. Oh, sorry. Ini tempe sama bawang nih. Aku dulu untuk sama topping gitu. Oke. Sudah special. <laughs> it's a smoky, it's, it's warm over there. I see why they want to stop like early, early morning because if it got hot during the day, like Indonesia weather, you would not want to be by these fires. You see that batter when she pours it? You can see the texture in it right there with all the coconut. It's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna have like a nice, very thick, little coconut meat filled texture. I hear frying. Let's go check it out. What about Maggie? Mango So you can actually see it. You got that tempeh, but instead of being like a thick cake, it's really thin, they've sliced it. She's mixing up a batter, it looks like they're kind of crumbling it in it. <laughs> I had to ask, because the batter looks a little different too. It didn't look like quite like rice flour, it didn't look like it was all uh, wheat flour either, so they're using a little bit of a triple combination. We're gonna have tapioca, rice, and just like a wheat flour to make that batter. All right, so she just added the egg, started in. Now there is the fermented bean one. We're gonna get the spicy tempeh. 
and now we're gonna get the black beam one, get the special, got everything here. And that is a loaded play pot. You just grab it? Uh, yeah, just what, grab one and put in the plate there. Uh, okay, tempe. Oh, yeah. you go tempe or veggie? Tempe. Tempe? Yeah. This one's mine? Yes. Okay. Now I understand. All right, so we got a plain one here. What we're gonna do is eat it with the tempe fritter. Just gotta lay it on top and eat it like this. How do you eat it? Yes, like that. Oh, just like this. Okay, more cold. You can also, yeah, that or you know, it, take each bite for each uh, food or just take it together like or that. Or take it together. I'll try together, then I'll yeah. go back and forth. I'm extremely hot. <laughs> wow. This is what it's all about, it's crunchy. It's got the tempeh, just a small little sliver of it. But to me, it's that triple batter working together. The way it's still got a little bit of chewiness to it. I guess from the tapioca and rice flour, but still develops that crunch from the wheat flour. Nice and spiced, slightly salty. And you get this, this is ooey, gooey, chewy. Been sitting over high heat flame, so you get a little bit of that aroma from the heat. Ooh. I like the setup here, man. It's actually like nice and cool, and I like sitting where I can eat. Still watch them work as well. I want to take a bite, but I feel like it's gonna be way too hot. What I love is no matter which one you get, whether it be the black beans with the green chilies, the fermented beans, or the spicy tempeh, it's all just an umami bomb. You get a crunchy, crispy outside coating, and it's warm, kind of gooey. It's very filling on the inside. Mm. Oh, I forgot she mixed the egg in now. It's a spot, it actually gives you like a huevos rancheros, just the way it's with the beans and eggs and it's spicy. But to me, I actually like it with all them green chilies and all the soybeans more than I would like a uh, refrap bean. Mm. I've had breakfast, now I think I can have dessert. But first, to the market. Now, it's really crazy busy active that way. We're gonna start over here. There is a shop just where we parked selling katan which is a sticky rice dish. Looks like it's almost topped with like palm sugar. Is that about pagi? Pagi, pagi. So 13,000 each. Uh -huh. And is it topped with the... Uh... This one, serundeng, yeah. Bumbu, bumbu is like... Uh, uh, grated coconut and some spices, chili as well. Oh, okay. So ketan is the sticky rice. Uh -huh. Bumbu is the topping. Lani is a ibu lani. Okay, ibu lani. Open this up, check it out. Katan bubu. Ibulani. Ibulani. Mm. Oh, smells like the chilies in there. You can smell them. What, sticky eyes? Make it look beautiful, get a lot on there. Cool. The topping's the addicting part. Really draw it out. It almost tastes like there is like coconut, but also like a dried bean in there. The way it dissolves, it's gotta be sugar. Sugar, chili, coconut, a sticky rice, nice and soft, a little bit chewy. Almost kind of like a sticky rice cake, the way it's been pounded and formed together. So now we're heading into the market, and one of the first things I can see already is the chili bone mango. Very famous here, large producer of a specific type of mango. You can check them out right here. We're getting in, got all the seafood here. Uh, that's for uh, aquarium. Mm. aquarium. Oh, just aquarium, you can't yeah. eat that. <laughs> but here they are, the chili bone mangoes. We call that a manga gedong ginchu, which is uh, lipstick mango with all the reddish color, bluish, and this is another type of mango. Also here, right. famous here. But here is the chili bone one. Yeah. Is it like a sweet mango? Yeah. Really, really sweet. You want to try? Yeah, Ada, you got a piece? Yeah. 
We're gonna get a sliver just to try it. I mean, we're here, might as well, right? Just pure mango, it's other tropical fruits and like a aroma come from it as well. Mm. That's firm. That kind of a little bit of like a papaya texture to it as well. Mm. So fruity, very sweet. Now here we go, now we made it to the market. It starts to pick up pace. You hear the hustling, the bustling. Tunnel Man. So you can see we're at the Tunnel Man Market. Oh, stink beans. When is stink bean season? Stink bean. Any, any time of year. Y'all are blessed, you can have it any time of the year. Uh, Y'all in Indonesia are so lucky. You got the fish, seafood, of course, getting into it. Got a little just touch over here. We'll keep looking. So right here is a doggy. Yeah. Me doggy, Yeah. Okay. Doggy tempe. So this is going to be the beans that have been fermented. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Look at it. Look how big the market. Uh, mango. Yes. yes. This is bread fruit. Sukun. Yeah, it's bread fruit. Bread fruit yeah. yeah, so it's like a cousin Stachy. of jackfruit and yeah, everything. Yeah, but stachy. Right? Oh, fried. Fried. Bread fruit Toasty. goreng, so good. Uh, sukun goreng. Sukun goreng. So good. <laughs> Hear more steak beans out here. You got you got any stink beans like dishes for the trip we're having today on yeah. this week? We're gonna have any stink beans yes, on of the course. Uh, we'll okay, okay. Plenty of stink beans. Okay, good. Look at all of it. Okay. Look at the lemongrass. Lemongrass is massive here. Yep. I think taller than what we get in Vietnam. I think ours is a little smaller. Or at least what I'm used to seeing in markets. But what about this market? For a small little just like city, it is humongous. I think that's somebody wants me to film. Hey, no. Salam up, Paggy. No. Manis. Manas, 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 Oh, they look just like it, but this is actually sweet. Like where the one I ate in Jakarta didn't have much flavor, it was much more fresh too. Got more of like a roasted nut flavor to it. I don't know how that car is going to get through here. Oh, cakes. Look at that, I got some type of cake here. Oh, yeah, it's never a bad thing. This is Kuwait Chico. Chico, yeah. Kuwait Chico is every 
fit with the shallot, red shallot, and chives, uh -huh. sticky rice. What's the actual cake made from? What I'm seeing? Dari tepung apa? Itu bu, aci ya. Tapioca. Ah, you can see. Look how bouncy it is. Jiggle, jiggle. Si ba. Ini boleh. So I think we're about to try the lady she's selling achi coco. Achi is going to be tapioca. Coco I think is the type of cake. Oh, so coco is actually like the kind of sambal she's Yeah, kind of sambal. Oh, nice. Oh, it's actually hot. You can see it's steaming. Oh, hot. Very hot, yes. Mantap, mantap, mantap. No, just one mantap. Satu mantap, satu mantap. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have term after mantap is mantap betul. Okay, okay mantap betul. betul. But we sometimes we call it mantul. Okay, mantul. So mantap and then mantul. Okay. I, I learned first day you don't say more than one mantap, but I screwed up my rule right away. That's really nice. It's it's a very rich, fermented, umami filled bean. And tapioca just melts in your mouth. Mm. Mantul. It's soupy, it's warm, got a little bit of heat to it. And there's all types of cakes here. Look, there's all different like pandan flavors, stuff wrapped in banana leaves, all different types of quay. This is the one to try. This is a special one though? Special tea from Chirbon called Botok Roti. Botok Roti. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little steamed like rice flour. We had this in Vietnam. Yeah. A little steam. Yeah, they really That's put it in there. The bread, coconut milk, a little egg, a little pandan, a little sugar. Oh. It's like kind of more like a flan little action right like here. Bread and butter pudding. Yeah, bread and butter. Yeah. Syrup one bread and butter pudding. Mm. Yeah, eggy, milky, little coconut coming through. Slightly sweet, not overly sweet. It really tastes a lot like a steamed egg. Bread and butter pudding. That's a pretty good description. Yeah. Mm. That's good. You know, you drive around Chirabon and you're like, oh, it's a small city, it's quiet, it's relaxing. But you come to the market and even these small markets, when you're down here in this part of the world, it's just so abundant with the things you can get and find from the produce to the dishes they make and even just things like the seafood being over here in the coastal area.